All right, here we are. I think we're live. Pretty good, only two minutes late. <laughs> so, how are you guys today? Are you guys like so excited about all of this Pamper Chef goodness? Well, I am Jennifer Soto and I'm here today to introduce all of our new fall products to you. So, just to let you know, these products are not gonna be available until September 1st. There's only one product that's available right now. <laughs> um, but I think you can wait like a day, two days. I mean, you guys can do that, right? Pinky promise. <laughs> All right, so um, my name is Jennifer Soto. I've been with Pamper Jeff like 25 years, and I love helping people find solutions to what's going on in their kitchen. Um, I love helping people who are struggling to get meal times um, together, especially when you have lots of kids. Um, and lots of activities and I love to help you figure out how to get dinner around the table so you can eat as a family, you can save money, and you can um, build those better family connections. So that's kind of my mantra, that's my mission I guess you can say, um, and I love to have fun while we're doing it. So let me get some dirt off of here because it's not really dirt, it's food because we use this already. <laughs> so um, one of the perks of being with Pamper Jeff is that we get these products early. I got to find out what they were in July. I've been keeping it mostly a secret um, until now and um, had lots of fun playing with them. As you can see, I'm actually using some of these. Um, but uh, so we found out in July and then... Um, we got to offer the prep and store system to August hosts, and now we get to go live with them and share all the great new things about them. So I love the fall because um, that's kind of my thing. Like I really love the cozy, warm, feel good uh, part of cooking, and I'm not a big baker, so um, when baking is easy, that's really nice. Um, I live in Colorado, so I want things to work. And um, the, one of the main reasons I don't bake is because I don't need to eat it, and I'm the primary one who eats it. I actually have, I don't know if you, you probably can't see, but over here I have like a little container that has um, some of our chai spice bread from last year. And um, it's so tempting to just walk by and eat it. So um, I try not to bake too much because it doesn't work out well for me. So now I know you guys are here because you want to see new products. So let me start the introductions. Um, I'm going to start with what's right here in front of me. Um, I'm really excited. And you know what? I didn't bring a, um, I didn't bring a, <laughs> A catalog down here so I might actually get these names wrong okay um, I'm you know this is pampered not perfect see that it says pampered not perfect um, but the first thing we have are some funnels these are made of a hard plastic and they nest together so one of the things that's really really cool about these funnels is first of all it's storage they all store together um, second of all let me get this out. They have a little strainer. Can you see that strainer? So that's really cool if you're straining. Um, let's say you're gonna take some, I don't know, um, broth or something like that. Uh, maybe you made some cold brew and you, well actually this is probably not big enough, for cold, small enough for cold brew, but whatever, if you need to strain and it fits right down snugly in the bottom of these funnels. You can put it on the top of whatever it is you're pouring it into. Um, let's say uh, you have some vanilla that you made or some um, herbed oil that you made and you wanna strain it, you wanna pour it without the um, stuff coming out. You can definitely do that with the strainer. There's lots of reasons that you might use a strainer, um, especially if you made something like in your blender and you wanna puree out some of the, the pieces and stuff. Anyway, so three different sizes right here and another feature you'll see is they have little stands right here so they'll actually you know stand on the side of or, you know hold on the side of whatever it is even if it's a little bit smaller and then I just love the fact that they pop together they nest together they're dishwasher safe um, and that strainer works it sits it actually has a little thing that holds it so it sits down on all of them they all snap together so that's our new straight our funnel set. I think it's a funnel set is what it's called. Okay, the next thing is our smaller strainer. I think it's like a two quart strainer. Our other one is really big and giant. This is so nice, small, nice small holes. Um, so you can do things that are small. Cute little spoon design. I don't know if you guys can see that. It has a little grip right here. So it's real easy to hold um, if you're pouring it out. And it has a little grip or it has a little raised base on the bottom. So it'll fit on there. One of the other things that's really um, great about these 
is that they actually fit um, down into one of our prep bowls or whatever. If you're trying to capture, like you're gonna pour out your spaghetti sauce and you wanna capture um, some of that uh, juice so that you can use it for your sauce. So this is the two quart, the new two quart stainless strainer. Um, love it. A big question that we had um, and, and the answer is no, the other strainers are not going away. Maybe later, but not now. So um, you still you have lots of straining options. Um, these are sold individually and I believe as a set as well. Again, I don't have my catalog in front of me. Bad consultant. I was going to do it and then I started getting everything ready and didn't do it. Okay, top four products. We have four products that we expect are going to kind of go viral. They're going to sell. They possibly will sell out. They're going to be really, really popular this year. And this is one of them. These are the whisk tongs, okay? Whisk tongs. So as you can see, they're kind of flat. So if you want to whisk your eggs together, if you want to whisk some stuff in a pan, they have um, a silicone coating on the tines so they can go with any kind of pan. They're not going to damage the surface. But check this out. It has a little latch right here, a little lever, fastener, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, you open it up and now these are tongs. How cool is that? So this is perfect to pick up like boiled eggs. Reach down in there. It's not going to crack the egg, okay? Um, perfect for flipping over your burgers or your chicken. So one of the things I love when we introduced our spatula tongs in the spring, one of the things I realized that I really, really loved about them is by being able to get under the chicken or the pork chop or the hamburger or whatever and then flip it over was so good because I didn't scrape off all the seasonings. When I use my regular tongs, which I love, everybody knows I love my chef's tongs, but when I used them to flip like chicken breast, I might go like that and scrape off all the seasoning. So this is so nice to be able to scoop under and flip things over really nicely. Whisk tongs. You can also use them for serving. They're gentle. The tines are flexible. I'm trying to get in the white here, but the tines are flexible. I don't know if you can see that. So they're going to be able to pick up anything and not damage it. Perfect for things like fish or chicken. Um, also good for salads, serving salads, um, putting on something like maybe even a dessert tray that you want to serve and be gentle with. These are the perfect things. These are going to be really, really popular. And they store flat, okay? They store flat so they can go in your drawer, which is really nice because I know my whisks take up a lot of room in my drawer. These also can go in your tool turnabout. They'll fit really nicely right in your tool turnabout right there with your other whisks. All right, so that's the whisk tongs. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is, um, this is kind of along the lines of um, serving, is these little serving, I took the thing away, I can't remember what they're called, they're little serving knives. So they're little spreaders, okay? So if you are doing a charcuterie board, if you are, um, you know, going to take something to go to, uh, work and you want to be able to make a peanut butter and jelly or spread some cream cheese on the bagel or whatever These are the perfect things to keep because this is not sharp right here This is just a spreader and it has a little tip right here so you can pick up your cheese or whatever um, Let's see. Let's see how this if this will work on a carrot. Okay, so you can pick up your little carrot like that And put it um, on there. So if you have like cheese chunks or something like that. All right, I should not have done that Pop a carrot in my mouth. Not a good idea Okay, they come in a set of three. They are a neutral gray color, and they are perfect for the holidays, for all of your entertaining um, situations. And, you know, they make a great gift, too. So, a nice hostess gift would be, excuse me, a nice hostess gift would be to buy three of these. And then, you'll get some pretty napkins, some holiday napkins. You can tie this on, or if you make some jam with your blender or something like that, you can tie this on and have that be part of the gift. So that makes a really nice little gift for teachers, for neighbors, for housewarmings, whatever. All right, next up. Now, remember I told you guys I was not a baker, right? Okay, so we have some new baking things which may or may not get very much use in my kitchen. The first one is a uh, dual piping bag. So. I didn't take this all out. It's got a silicone bag, and then it has, let me open this up, and I'm going to show this, this part to you. Um, it has this dual piping situation here, okay? So, you put in the bag 
half of this thing, it's two, you put one in one bag, one in the other bag, and then you put the coupler together. And now when you frost, you've got two colors coming out. Can you guys see that? Two colors coming out. How cool is that? So again, like I said, I'm not a baker, okay? And you have some tips here. This is um, a larger tip. <laughs> And then you have a closed tip, or actually an even larger tip. So you have two, you have um, this one, which is completely open, like for fillings, okay? There you go, it's completely open, just a hole, like for fillings, just a circle. This one, I think, is for doing like rosettes. It's kind of got graduated stuff on it, okay? And these will all be available. Um, if you want a link to the catalog on Friday morning, um, all you have to do is text me at 719-501-2665 and just put the word catalog in there. And I will send you the link to the catalog on Friday morning. And you can take a look at all of this yourself. <laughs> okay, and then we have this other one here, which is, again, I'm not a baker. I don't know what that's for. <laughs> so um, it probably says in the instructions, but I'm not going to undo all of that. So if you are a baker, then you know this is golden. Um, comes in a little bag, a little bag that uh, just like our other decorating set with a little zipper, zipper on the top. So it keeps everything nice and contained. Bags are dishwasher safe. Comes with a Twixit clip. Um, everything in here is dishwasher safe. That is very handy. Okay. Now, the next thing I'm going to tell you about is our popcorn machine. And mainly because I need to start the nuts. <laughs> it's 4.15 already. I need to start the nuts. All right. So this is our new electric pop and stir. It's a popcorn machine. So the Sotos love popcorn. Like, we have a serious love affair with popcorn. We are always, we eat popcorn almost every day. And so I have a countertop. I have a big giant, one of those nostalgia ones downstairs, but then I also have this counter, I have a countertop um, popcorn maker. And I love my countertop popcorn maker. This one is so much better. Let me tell you why. So first of all, all the pieces are dishwasher safe. The bowl is dishwasher safe. The, the little cover right here is dishwasher safe. Even this part right here is dishwasher safe. That is so nice. My husband hates cleaning the popcorn machine. Okay, um, so this does popcorn but it also does nuts. And so I'm gonna make some nuts today. Um, I love this cover. It comes off, this is one of my favorite features. It comes off, my other one, I like have to wrestle. I'll have a full bag of popcorn, full thing of popcorn, and I'm like trying to get it to stay on there. It will not stay on there. This is so nice because see, this fits my hand, my hand is not big, and I twist and the lid stays on there. So that's really handy, okay? It, as with, oh, and then the other cool thing about it, this lid is um, dishwasher, it's, it's dishwasher safe, it's also heat resistant. So it's not gonna, it's gonna prevent cracking and things like that um, when you're using it or after extended use. The cord stores in the bottom, I love that. That is not the case in our other one. And then you've got three settings right here. You can pop it or it's off or you can make your nuts. And then your family will have lots of fun jokes to talk about when you read that at your house. <laughs> so, all right, so we're gonna get this set up. Um, it comes with a little guide, just like all of our electrics, and uh, tells you some ideas. There's QR codes on the back, so you can scan for even more ideas. These will be live on the first. So excited. You can make candied gourmet popcorn. You can make nuts. We're going to make some candied nuts right here because that is so unusual, right? So the first thing that we need, I need to put my stuff in here. So we want to put everything in here together. So we'll put our nuts in first. Okay, one cup of nuts, and then we need some sugar. We need half a cup of sugar, so we'll put that in here too. I'm just going to pour that sugar in. I went ahead and pre-measured everything, okay? Um, and then we need our two tablespoons of water. Love our Easy Read Measure Cup because it makes it so easy to pre-measure something like two tablespoons of water, okay? And then um, we need one and a half teaspoons of ground cinnamon. So of course I'm using our Crunchy Cinnamon. Um, this will be available, hopefully, they haven't told us for sure, but I'm really hoping it'll be available in October. Any cinnamon will do, but our cinnamon's the best, if you don't mind my saying so. 
Okay. And then we need a quarter teaspoon of sea salt. Okay. And then we need a teaspoon of vanilla. I'm using my um, measuring spoons, the stackable ones, so handy. And of course, using our vanilla. I think that's another one that's a seasonal product. Should should come back. I'm hoping um, on in October. We should find out probably tomorrow or Friday. All right, so we've got all of our stuff in there. The nuts that work best are almonds, pecans, walnuts, cashews, and peanuts. We're actually using pecans. I went to um, I went to Costco and bought a whole big thing, and then we're going to put it on nuts right here. Actually, I think I leave this off. Okay, so we'll put this on here. Leave this off. It's going to take 9 to 12 minutes, okay? So let me get a little stirrer. Do a throwback. How fun is this? Like, we used to have a colored scraper like this. Now they look like this. Okay. Okay, so if they start to clump up, we just have to give them a little bit of stir. But I don't know if you can see, it's just stirring there, and it's going to smell so amazing, just like you're at the, um, just like you're at the fair. <laughs> so once it's done, we'll pull it off and pour it onto some parchment paper. But that is that. Comes in a little thing, so easy to do. Um, takes like 10 minutes to do, and so that's great. You can make a whole bunch. They are great for gifts and for, it already smells so good, you guys. You have no idea. Okay, so that's the electric pop and stir. Love this. Everybody's going to ask how much is it. It's $99, so it's a great deal for everything it does and all the capabilities and how easy it is to clean. It's very innovative. Um, there's, there's things that are similar on the market, but nothing really like it, okay? So, and because we've introduced the popcorn machine, we have three, a little set. Um, these are limited time seasoning set. It comes in a set of three, and you can get smoked Gouda, um, French toast, which I could have used the French toast seasoning on this instead of the cinnamon, and then ranch. Okay, so those are great little toppers for your popcorn. Be delicious. Oh, and I didn't even tell you this other great thing that I love about it. This right here fits down in here. So for storage, it's just this footprint right here. Um, this is a lot flatter than my other one, and this lid is so flexible, so I love it. Okay. Oh, they're starting to clump, so let me give it a little bit of a stir. I cannot tell you guys how delicious it smells. Okay, so um, so let's talk about some of the other baking things. I've distracted myself. So let's talk about some of the other baking things that we have um, that are new. Um, we have this spreader, which I love. It, I use this for making seven layer dip in our rectangle cool and serve. Okay, it's perfect for that because it's nice and wide. It's also really great for icing a cake, <laughs> okay? Um, by having this angled handle, you get more, um, you, you get a better uh, coverage um, than say something like this, okay? So that's that. And then we have this, um, I don't know what it's called, but it's like a, an edger, it's a, an icing edger. So you have a flat edge and then you have this wavy edge right here. Um, so you can go around a cake and really get that nice decorative frosting. It has silicone in the middle here, so it's easy to hold. All right. And then we have this um, brown cake pan set. And it's a set of four cakes, so you would use one cake mix, and you can make the four cakes and then stack them together. It tells you, it has a little marking on the inside, tells you where to pour your batter to, um, and then you just, and once they come out, you just stack them up, put your frosting, put your frosting in between before you stack them up. Told you guys I'm not a baker. Um, there is a recipe for a s'mores cake that I am going to be making, <laughs> um, and I will probably do it as a, well, I probably won't do it as a live, because I told you guys I'm not a baker. <laughs> So, um, but I'll show you the finished product. All right, we have some other seasonings that just came out, uh, or that'll be coming out, our savory maple. This is delicious on salmon. Um, there's, a, there's a recipe in the season's best called um, savory tortellini, and it has tortellini and spinach, and it uses a savory maple seasoning. 
Oh my gosh, so delicious. This is so good. We had this come, this is one of the taste buds recipes that are seasonings that was super, super popular that they decided to make into um, a regular seasoning. And so this is one of those ones that made it. So yay, we are so happy about that. And then we also have this black garlic. Now I made, this was a taste, this was in the taste buds for August and it was so delicious. We used it to make um, garlic meatballs and so good. And I can't, I remember reading what the black garlic is. I'll tell you at another time because I don't remember what the deal is with black garlic, but this flavor was so good. And one of the other things, this is really fine. So you can use this on in your air fryer to do things in your air fryer. You're not gonna have to worry about it catching on fire. Same with the, same with the savory maple. All right, um, and how much, you know what? I bet the savory maple will be really good on these nuts if you wanna have kind of a um, more savory flavor, you know, not more of, not so much the sweet, although I'll tell you the sweet is really, really good. So you can see that they're starting to kind of um, look a little different. The nuts are cooking and they're starting to get that little bit of a sandy look on them. Um, still a little moist, but they will, you know, get sandy here in a minute. Some of the ones in the middle are starting to get sandy and there'll be that crunchy stuff. And then this is savory umami. So um, if you like pho, then this is, you're gonna need this, okay? You're probably gonna go through it. You're probably gonna need to buy it by the bucket, right? And um, it, you can use this in place of like a bouillon cube or something like that to make bouillon when you're making soup or a stock or a base or whatever. So, um, so this is really yummy that it has that Asian kind of flavor to it, so. All right, and two other things we've got. Um, We've got this almond pound cake right here, and don't be fooled, it's actually allergy friendly. No almonds involved, it just has almond flavor. Um, it's also, I believe it's gluten free as well. It's, oh, it's just nut free. It's nut free, it's not gluten free. Um, so this is gonna be really delicious. If you have people that have nut allergies, you can rest assured when you bring it somewhere that it's not gonna, um, it's not going to, uh, put people into danger. Um, and then this other one is this rosemary focaccia bread. Now I can't wait to use this, I haven't made it yet, um, but I can't wait to do this. And it's so easy to make this focaccia bread, and especially right here in this new baker, which I'm gonna show you the bakers in just a minute, but this is gonna be one of those really popular things. So I told you guys there were four things that were gonna be wildly popular. Oh, these look like they're almost done. Almost done, so put one right there so I can check it see if they're done they look kind of sandy they have to cool so I'll go ahead and turn that off I need to put them on something let me get a tray we'll just use the modular sheet pan that's the perfect thing to use right there I don't want to burn myself. Just lift that up right there. Okay, we'll let those cool. We'll see how those are in just a moment. And like I said, this is dishwasher safe, so you can easily just stick that right in the dishwasher. Okay, let's check this guy out that I pulled out a second ago. Mmm. This is so bad to have. Because it doesn't take any time to make a sweet snack. And I'm trying not to eat sugar, you guys. Bad. So good, though. <laughs> Can't wait to give these away at Christmas. Um, all right, number two. Product number two. Uh, this is going to be one of our things that's going to be so popular. Okay, so we have the whisk tongs, the pop and stir. Um, the next one is our garlic slicer set. Okay, how cool is it? So we have our garlic press, right? Everybody loves our garlic press. If you don't have one, you need one. And this is our garlic slicer set. So um, it's uh, coming, it comes in here. And it has these two little things to hold in here. It has on the top, on one side, it does chopping. So it chops your garlic. On the other side, it does slicing, so it slices your garlic. This little plate right here, this little plate will um, put your garlic into a paste. And then 
this can go in this way to catch the garlic or in this way to catch the garlic, depending on what you're doing. You have the little peeler, just a little peeler. It's all you need is a little one. And then a brush for cleaning. Another cool thing about this is if garlic is stuck on here, these little green plates come out um, to help you clean it. The whole thing is dishwasher safe. This thing is gonna be crazy popular this fall. Um, everything's dishwasher safe. I've been using it like crazy. Did you notice I had to take it out of my, my drawer? <clears throat> I love that it fits right down in a drawer. Easy peasy, but it is gonna be so popular this year. You guys are gonna definitely have to have one of those. All right, so the next thing I wanna show you is, I've talked about this a lot if you watch my lives all of August, you've seen me using it. This is the Prep and Store. This was available for August hosts this month. And so um, I was talking about it a lot this month because I was using it, as you can see. So I've got some berries in here. And one of the things, I've got one that's open so I can show you. So this is the store, okay, part of the prep and store. So this is the storage. It comes with three containers. It comes with this base, which is about the size of like a soda, a 12 pack of soda. Fits right nice in your fridge, just right in there. It's measured for perfect to do that perfectly has these bottoms that you can freeze so then you could like make a taco bar a veggie bar or whatever and you can have that out for snacks when your kids come home um if you keep these it'll keep the food cold for two to four hours i think four to six hours i think if they're frozen two to four if they're just cold okay but each one of these containers you can use it a couple different ways so you can put the divider in here and has a little holder for the divider. So you can put the divider in here so you can put two different kinds of food in here. If you want to put bear, you know, two different kinds of berries like I have in here. I have raspberries and blueberries. Or maybe you want to put two different types of veggies in here. Um, so when I use the bit when I do berries, I definitely put the the raise the riser here. It's a strainer riser, has holes in it. Um, so air can pass through, but liquid goes down. That way my berries are not ever sitting in the juice and if you're not using this it stores right here in the lid okay the lid has an open close valve so if your food is um like so my berries here are my berries are whole i just washed them and put them in here so i have it open okay if my food is cut up like these carrots here are cut so i have it closed okay so this is, I kind of grab this when I'm cooking dinner because I always want to snack. And so I have those slices of carrots in there that I can snack on, okay? Um, I love this, I love it. It fits so great. It goes um, in, our, in our fridge or in your, you know, whatever, so easily, stores nicely. All the pieces are dishwasher safe except for the cooling inserts. You don't want to put them in the dishwasher. And everything else is dishwasher safe. Um, really very, very handy um, in your kitchen. As a matter of fact, I can't wait to get my second set of those because I'm gonna need another set, <laughs> okay? All right, the next thing, the other part of this is the prep system, okay? So this is the prep system right here. It comes with the board, and the board has a little slant this way to hold juices kind of away from you from where you're prepping. And then it has these two metal pieces right here that can go on the front, and then they can also sit on the side over here. So you can put it over the edge or over the sink, and what those are designed for is to hold um, these, these bins, okay? So you get two more bins with the prep system. They don't have the blue things in them, the blue inserts in them, um, because you don't need that when you're just catching, you know, stuff. Um, so I love this because you can put your scraps in here. You can chop, chop, and then just put your scraps right in here. I like to have them off to this one off one in the front, one off to the side, because it's very natural for me to just push things off to the side. And so um, it keeps my surface area really clean. This is dishwasher safe. One of the things that makes ours different than you know other things, other meal prep systems you find on the market is that ours is designed to go in the dishwasher. A lot of them are really big and really bulky, and the stuff doesn't fit in the dishwasher. This fits in the dishwasher. Washer. super easy to clean and comes with a little um, card with a QR code that tells you some tricks some tips and tricks to keep your produce fresh so that's handy if you are struggling to get meal on your uh, get dinner on your table you're gonna want to have one of these because you can prep like on the weekend or on a day when when you have some time you can prep you can slice your veggies for the week if you pick your meals out then you can slice your veggies for the week store them in the prep containers and when it's time to make dinner you just pull out what you need okay 
Or if you want your kids to be really um, choosing, ma making good choices when it comes to, for snacks and things like that, then you can put your snacks in there and then just pull that out when they get off the bus and then that's gonna give them something to grab that's really nice and healthy. You could also use it for packing lunches or whatever. I mean, it's just the possibilities are endless. It's like I said, I need another set. <laughs> So for my kitchen, so so that's one of the other big things. It's been wildly popular. My hosts have been loving it this month, and um, so that'll be available for everybody to either just buy or host a party and get it sixty percent off in the month of September. Same with anything. Um, as a matter of fact, the month of September. If you see anything here that you really like, and maybe you're saying I'm not spending a hundred dollars on a pop and stir. Host a party, get it for 40. It's actually cheaper than what I bought my popcorn machine for um, at the at Walmart. <laughs> so um, lots of great deals and it has so many more capabilities. So, and if you haven't been following along, I am close to $1 million in career sales. So I'm offering a little bonus. I'm hoping to get that in. I'm planning to get that in um, September. So host your party in September. I'll give you like one of these new products for free when you host your party, depending on the size of the party, which one you'll get. Um, but uh, I will be giving you a free new product when you host your party, in addition to all of the great stuff you get when you host a party. When you host a party with me, my average host gets about $200 in free stuff, uh, like three or four half price items. And, a, and this month you get a 60% off item, anything in the catalog that you want. So in um, August and in September. So all right, save the best for last, the biggest for last, the, our cornerstone of our catalog, I guess you could say, because we've had stoneware since the very, very beginning. And we've been slowly reworking our stoneware to make it dishwasher safe, make it oven safe to, with high heat, and just give it a greater flexibility because one of the th reasons that people buy stones is because of the flexibility. Now this one, I have been clamoring for. I've seen something very similar in the German Pamper Chef catalog, and I've just been please, please, please begging that they would bring this. So here it is. This is a, um, it's kind of like a deep cover, deep dish baker, like we used to have a million years ago. It's a little bit taller. It is actually called, um, I'm not sure which one this is called. <laughs> It's a round baker. Anyway, um, glaze on the inside, ungla and on the and unglazed on the inside, and unglaze on the outside. This really nice matte white finish. I love our new bakeware. It fits in any kitchen. It's very on trend. And um, these are dishwasher safe. They're microwave safe. They're oven safe. Um, they're just going to be your go-to dishes in your kitchen. You're going to use them for a lot of things. So, and they all come with our fancy new blue little pan scrapers that fit perfectly in the corner and can be used for other things as well. Round baker, we have the small deep covered baker and then the deep covered baker. This is the mini deep covered baker. And then we have the deep covered baker. And then, drum roll please, we have been begging for this to come back for I don't know how long, is an eight inch an eight inch square baker, okay? And they did us one better. They made it just like our rectangular baker and you can get a, li and you can get a lid that goes with it. And so um, the cool thing about the baker and the lid is, well, first of all, it's deep. It's like over three inches deep. Um, so you can do a lot of different things in here. Um, that caramel latte bread would be perfect in here. Um, just so many different things that you could do in here. And um, this is gonna be your Thanksgiving buddy, <laughs> okay? Um, Years ago, we had these square bakers that I've never gotten rid of because they were my Thanksgiving like must have. I would put my mashed potatoes in here and make my green bean casserole in here. They just, I could fit tons of them in the oven. They would also be heated up in the microwave. They were just so versatile. So I'm so glad to have this back for brownies and lemon bars and all the things. And then this lid is so great because let's say you're making like a little casserole in here. You can put this lid on top and I cook your bread, your little bread sticks on top, or you can use this separately and cook your asparagus on here. I mean, there's so many different things that you can do because it's just a glazed stone. That's all it is, glazed stone. So, um, and it serves as a lid as well. So it's beautiful and functional and um, super excited about it. Um, deep covered baker, one of those cornerstone products that we've had for a very, very long time. This is lighter weight. If you've had a deep covered baker for 20 years um, or however long we've had it, 15 years, um, you'll notice that this is a lot lighter. You know, 
technology changes and we're able to make the same kind of things but make them better and so that's why we have this capability right here to have all of this and have it be better so okay that is it that is all of the new products i hope you guys are so excited i'm going to show you a close-up of these nuts so you can go crazy over them look at this it smells so good so 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 good um mm. Have to stop. Have to stop. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. Um, if you want to have your own party, then you want to get some of this stuff at a discount, or you want everything, I had somebody message me this morning and say, I pretty much want all the new products. Um, let me know. I will help you get that stuff in your kitchen. If you like this video, share it with somebody else who loves Pamper Chef, and maybe, maybe give me a follow. Uh, give me a subscription on YouTube, and I will see you around. Bye.